My name is AJ Corver. My partner Ethan couldn't be here today, but we reverse engineer, engineered and modeled two parts of this Logitech M510 mouse. Ethan took the uh, wheel, which isn't on here, and I took the uh, battery cover slides off. We're thinking of more replaceable parts. What are the uses of this mouse? Being a mouse, of course, obviously, it's meant to um, by left clicking and right clicking to open menus or or perform functions. This is a wireless mouse, so without the cord, it can go anywhere as long as it's plugged in with the USB. And the mouse wheel, which Ethan modeled, is used for uh, zooming or scrolling down a page. Uh, here's some of the other parts of it. The uh, two parts we used are actually not included in the picture. Um, I will include it later, I guess. I uh, this is the shell of it. That's actually a pretty big chunk of it here. Um, taking it apart, all that is one piece. The motherboard performs all the functions, the uh, pieces of the shell for the left clicking, right clicking, all that presses down into the buttons here to perform functions. And inside here, that's where the batteries are held. Those are the batteries there. So I modeled the battery cover on the back that slides off to expose the batteries are here. Uh, when I waited, when I uh, ran it up to Goldman's room, it a, had a mass of 5.0 grams exactly on the scale. Uh, by volume testing, I found that it was about six cubic centimeters. It had a density then of 0.8, that's rounded, for six figs, uh, grams per cubic centimeters. When I model it in Inventor, show my this piece here. Um, the eye properties values, which are on the next page as well, came back with a mass of 5.9 grams, volume of 5.5 cubic centimeters, and a density of 1.06 grams per cubic centimeter. Percent error of each of those, the mass was off by 18%. The volume was only off by 8.3%. It came back pretty close. And However, the density came back as 33%. Um, as for the tests, the other tests that, we, that I performed on this piece alone here, uh, being simple ABS plastic, it does, it does not conduct electricity, it's not magnetic, was fairly scratch resistant. I wasn't able, able to uh, scratch with my nail. It's uh, actually stronger than some of the other parts of the mouse, such as the uh, shell actually does scratch. Um, the, uh, Hand flexure test, it did not actually, it did not bend out of place, but being ABS plastic, it could snap if I bent it too far. Uh, however, it is fairly sturdy. And it's also easy to recycle, just being this little piece of plastic here. And that's where Ethan didn't put his part of it on the PowerPoint, so we'll go right past that. As for the reflection, even for what seemed like they'd be some fairly simple parts of a mouse coming in, they did not prove easy to uh, model any better, partly because we were a little out of practice have done in a while, but it helped to uh, get back the uh, skills I learned from IED. Um, as for that, if I had uh, if I'd probably uh, shown up a couple more days, had a, bad a few bad scheduling issues there, um, probably would have done this a little better, but I'm pretty proud of how it turned out. <laughs> Fairly proud. Of your chum. And I believe um, what we have here both would actually at least look, pr look pretty much what they're like, what they're exactly supposed to right here. My piece was pretty close, at least to what the uh, actual battery cover is shaped like. And any questions? Is Ethan your imaginary friend? <laughs> um, that's what my therapist said. Okay.